This is Jason Chittenden, the product manager for WinNonlin and the IVIVC toolkit. Today I'm going to present to you a business case for IVIVC in general and some of the capabilities of the IVIVC toolkit. Farsight Software and Services really focus on reducing the overall cost of drug development. In vitro and vivo correlations applied judiciously at various steps in this process can help to reduce the time to market and also decrease the cost of various trials. IVIVC is an important part of a drug development program. The importance starts far back during preclinical studies and translates through early phase development, late phase development, all the way through post-approval. You can start with IVIVC for immediate release formulations, looking at correlations between your dissolution profiles and the profiles in plasma that you see in any uh, phase of development here. In addition, when it's time to do a sustained release formulation, IVIVC built on top of some of the immediate release formulations can be used to predict or extend the knowledge you have of those formulations to these longer release formulations. Finally, when you do go um, through approval processes, you can use IVIVC to set up the um, dissolution specs so that you have perhaps a broader range of acceptable dissolution specs versus the kind of default approach of plus or minus 10%. Additionally, um, you can use IVIVC for bioequivalent studies. Bioequivalence has applicability in many areas of the development cycle. For phase one, uh, you might have some unexpected stability problems, change in manufacturing methods, where you might want to establish bioequivalence from the old formulation to the new formulation. Uh, the same goes for phase two, phase three, and uh, phase four formulation changes. Use an IVIVC to help design the new formulation that is bioequivalent to the older one. In addition, you can use an IVIVC to establish bioequivalence for a biowaver post approval.